welcome back to my channel. So today I was supposed to announce the giveaway winner, but nobody followed my giveaway rules. So the first rule was that you had to subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell. The second thing was you were supposed to go to my Instagram and follow me at underscore real Southern bell. And the third thing was that you were supposed to comment under my 1000 subscribers video and actually let me know why you should win. So not one person on my channel follow all three of those rules. So I did decide to go ahead and move the giveaway up till Sunday. So that's giving you guys a few more days to go ahead and enter in. And then on Sunday, hopefully somebody enters and then I can go ahead and choose a giveaway winner. But that's so sad. I mean, I'm giving away free items. It's fun. It's free. Take a chance. You might win. You never know. But today I just wanted to give you all an update on me. So I did get braces again. Yes, y'all, I got braces again, and it probably doesn't look like I have braces on, but you probably can hear it. So I did decide to go ahead and get the Six Month Smiles braces. Um, now this is also called the adult braces, and it doesn't technically mean that I'll be having these braces on for six months. It actually means that I can have my braces on from anywhere from six months to 12 months, um, just depending on the person and the severity of their case. Um, they are clear and they're supposed to blend in with your teeth, so if someone is looking at you from far, they really can't tell you have on braces until they get really, really close to you. Uh, but I did decide to get these over the traditional braces because I did not wanna have the long wait time um, you know having metal braces in my mouth So I'm just gonna kind of tell you guys about the six month smiles why I decided to get them the cost and everything like when I was that. younger I had a lot of teeth in my mouth had a lot of teeth that were extracted um, I had overlapping gums. So I had to get like my gums lasered um, I had just a whole bunch of stuff and then in about 2007 is when I got my first set of metal braces and I thought I was just so cute in my metal braces um, and then I took them off at the end of 2009 going into 2010 um, so when I was in the beginning of my high school stages is when I actually took off my braces okay now one thing I did not like about taking off my braces was the fact that I was gonna have to wear a retainer okay so I was young and I was like no my teeth are straight I don't need a retainer so I did not wear my retainer and my teeth slowly started to move um, my top teeth honestly my top teeth weren't really that bad the only thing is that my two front teeth one is a little bit further up than the other but as far as my bottom teeth i do have crowding on the bottom now uh, just being that i didn't wear my retainer and my teeth kind of started doing what they wanted to do at the bottom i mean being a youtuber and everything of course obviously when i'm recording a video i can see the crowding and everything in my teeth um but I didn't mind my crowding. I actually got really used to my crowding. It really didn't bother me. But what bothered me was that it started to affect the way I was talking. It affected my speech. And that's what I did not like about my crowding on the bottom. So it's not that, oh, I didn't think I was cute with my crowding or whatever. No, I sounded real crazy. I probably sound crazy right now because I have braces. It sounded like I had a lisp. So some words, it's like I couldn't pronounce the S and things like that. So it was really starting to affect my speech. So at that point, I was like, you know what? I'm getting braces again because I want to get braces again, okay? So I will start off by saying this. If you do decide to do the six-month smiles or the adult braces, as they call it, it is more expensive than traditional braces, okay? So traditional braces can be anywhere from like $2,000 to $3,500 and that's just an estimate. These were actually a little bit over $5,000 um, and that's not including like insurance deductions and everything like that. I'm just giving you guys like an estimate of how much it is. And at $5,000 I got rubber bands for my teeth to pull my teeth together and to get them straighter even faster and I also did get wax just in case uh, like any of the wires began to stick me or anything like that. We'll have to do checkups like every four weeks um, and that's to tighten my braces and things like that. Um, and then after I get my braces off, I'm going to get my teeth whitened and then I'm also going to get a retainer. So I'm going to get permanent retainers in my mouth finally because the first time I had braces, they didn't give me no permanent retainer. Um, so I have that and I also have a removable retainer removal and i also have a removable retainer as well price is very expensive uh, but if you still want braces and you're like man i just can't afford this right now um you can do like me you can put a little bit down on it and then you can use um a different avenue such as a credit card or 
care credit. Um, so care credit is something that I'm seeing a lot of YouTubers use, especially when it comes to cosmetic surgeries and things like that. Nobody really wants to pay the full amount, you know, for a cosmetic procedure. So you want to be able to put some down, but you also want to be able to pay the rest off by the month. And also by doing that, you're building your credit. So that's a really cool thing to do. So if you're looking into getting any type of cosmetic procedure, I do recommend that you go through care credit. As far as like the pain, to put them on, it took about two hours. Um, it really wasn't that painful. The only thing I will say was painful was when my dentist actually like took this little metal piece and he was like rubbing it in between all these little teeth right here that are crowded and he was like i have to make space for these teeth so they can move so basically he just kept on like in a repetitive motion he just kept moving that little silver crate in between each of my teeth and i could literally feel my teeth like kind of move apart just a little bit but everybody's treatment is going to be different everybody's needs are going to be different um and that's just something he had to do for my crowding because i needed that space at the bottom but he did have to kind of go in and make some space in between my teeth at the bottom um so that's the only part that really hurt honestly uh to put the brackets on it was really really quick the easy way that they do it now um they have all of the brackets on this little plastic thing and they put glue on your teeth they put the plastic thing on your teeth and then they just peel the plastic off and your brackets are on. So they're able to now put multiple brackets at one time. So that's really, really cool as well. Um, but when I got home pretty much the first night, which was Monday, um, I really didn't feel any pain. My mouth was very numb. They gave me Tylenol before um, I put my braces on. And then after, uh, they also gave me this numbing mouthwash to kind of make my gums numb, which really didn't work because I really felt it whenever he was making that space between my teeth and I could see all all the blood and everything um, so that was really really painful I will say that on into Tuesday um, when I woke up that's where I kind of felt the pressure on my teeth and uh, I was like damn I got braces again like <laughs> that old feeling came back like oh my god look what you didn't did but I think six months smiles is a good way to go and I think it's so much more advanced um, and I believe I did feel a lot of pressure waking up on Tuesday because the night before I had slept with my rubber bands for the first night. Um, so yeah, so normally on traditional braces, they wait a few months until you're in and then you get rubber bands. But six months miles, I got my rubber bands on the first day and I do have to put uh, two rubber bands and make two squares on my two back teeth. I pretty much have to wear those every single day and when I sleep. The only time I take out the rubber bands are supposed to be uh, whenever I'm eating or you know when I have to brush and floss my teeth. We have a spinning toothbrush that I'm gonna start using just so I can get that extra, extra clean filling. Um, and then I'm also gonna be using my water pick as well. Um, so a water pick can be used in conjunction with regular flossing and it helps get around all these brackets and all in between these brackets and it helps your teeth um, stay clean, you know, whenever you do have braces because your teeth are more prone to cavities when you have braces. So you wanna make sure you definitely take care of your teeth if you plan on getting braces, but a water pick has been like my baby. Like I actually haven't used a water pick in months. And now that I have braces, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take full advantage of this thing. So I fill it up with uh, with warm water and I put a little bit of mouthwash in it. And that's how I go ahead and use my water pick. Regular Tylenol the first two days. Uh, but today I actually started using the extra strength Tylenol, which is the 500 milligrams. And y'all, that stuff kicks in so fast. When I tell y'all like five minutes after I take it, like my mouth is numb, I don't feel any pain. And that's really, really good um, because nobody wants to feel pain, especially for people like me. I have a really, really low pain towel. I do at night, uh, just started doing this last night actually, is I do a warm salt water rinse and that helps me a lot. Um, that really, really works. I was gonna start using an ice pack just for whenever it started to bother me. Um, but now I'm just gonna go ahead and do my salt water rinses every single night before I go to sleep. So just put some warm water in a cup and I do gargle with that salt water. Um, so, so far it's going pretty well. I make sure that I stay on time with my Tylenol and my salt water rinses. And I honestly, I don't even feel anything. And this is day three. I'm sure to keep taking my stuff and I'm good to go. Um, and I did use the wax last night because these two brackets, that one and that one, it was kind of bothering me last night. Um, and it was just rubbing against my gums and rubbing against like my lips. So I was like, no. 
So I did go ahead and put some wax on that and the wax helps a lot because it just makes the surface of your brackets real smooth and you don't feel it. So they did give me a little handy dandy paper uh, talking about the six month smiles and what to expect and they basically say that um, your lips may be sore for about one or two weeks. Everyone is different. You will get used to eating with the bite guards. I do have bite guards. So I have like two pieces of like cement or whatever it is behind my two front teeth. Um, so when I bite down, it's actually stopping my bottom teeth from hitting my top bracket. So that's how they make sure that you, your bracket stays safe and that you don't accidentally bite down too hard and they come off. Um, so that's why they put the bite guards in there. Avoid foods um, that is hard and crisp. So anything harder than a pretzel, you don't want to eat that. Um, you want to stay away from crusts, nuts, bagels, chicken wings, popcorn, ice, raw vegetables, whole fruit, candy, taffy, gum, or any foods that could dislodge one of your braces. Um, so I've been doing really good on food. I've been eating a whole lot of soup and everything. Um, so soup is really good and it's really easy for me to eat right now. And then yesterday I even got me some IHOP French toast and eggs and hedge browns and I told that up, honey. So if you get braces, like it may hurt at first, but I promise you, you will find a way <laughs> to eat what you gotta eat, you know. But I am staying away from like gum and stuff like that. Um, and as far as today, I did go to like Walgreens and pick me up just some snacks that I can have. So I picked up like some Lifesavers and like a Hershey bar, just stuff that I can actually suck on and not have to like bite because I love candy, you know, so that's something that I'll be using uh, just to take me along, you know, my journey and not having to think about, oh, I can't have this, I can't have that, I can't. No, you can have it, but you just have to, you know, substitute a different type of candy or a different type of food. So you just, you're gonna find your way around everything, honestly, and that's what I'm doing so far. Um, and yeah, so it also says that you wanna stay away from like spaghetti sauce, red wine, coffee, tea strawberries blueberries and everything it says try to limit those things because they can actually stain your braces um so i do try to stay away from dark juices i don't really drink dark juices anyway um i normally drink like gatorades pyrates sparkling water and things like that so i don't think any of this is really going to bother me and then i might have like a coffee at work every now and then but it's all stuff that you can like get away with you just can't have it in excess are it will definitely damage the color of your six month smiles but i think six month smiles are a great thing to have i think it's new i think it's different i think it's innovative and i also think that it's really something cool um the fact that you can have braces but in your pictures you know it looks like you don't have braces so i think that's really cool about the six month smiles but i am looking forward to getting these bad boys off and getting the results that i want to get because i do want my straight teeth again and now that i'm old enough and paying for these braces with my own money trust and believe i will be wearing my rubber bands i will be wearing my retainers everything like that because when you spend your own money that's when you realize okay you have to be responsible and you have to you know you don't want to waste your money so you're going to listen and you're going to do what you have to do but uh yeah so i'm so happy i made the decision to get braces again something that i've been talking about you know for a few weeks and i was like you know what i might as well just go ahead and do this now because if not now then i'm never going to do it i want to give y'all an update and just let y'all know that i got braces again just in case y'all come on one of my videos and be like why you talk you funny like what's in your mouth and i really really like it because they're white and um yeah, so this is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope this video helped you all, and I hope you do have a great rest of your day. Bye.